we are not what you're seeing on TV. We are people who have been living here for over 10 years who call Arizona home. Rania Montoya is one of more than 500,000 so-called dreamers. She's very concerned President-elect Donald Trump will keep his campaign promise to begin mass deportations and that it will include dreamers. Day one of my new administration, we will begin the largest deportation operation in American history. The Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA, is an Obama-era program. It has allowed those who were brought into the U.S. unlawfully as children to obtain a renewable two-year work permit, protecting them from deportation. During his first term, Trump tried and failed to end DACA. It's not clear what a second Trump administration would do about dreamers. This program itself may end, but that doesn't mean a person is subject to deportation. Professor Lenny Benson teaches immigration law at New York Law School. She says dreamers with a criminal record should be the most concerned about being deported. If you have a final order of removal, and particularly if you have any criminal convictions, you would be a priority of ICE to act to remove you. She does advise all dreamers to get professional legal advice now ahead of Trump's inauguration. Just being someone who's received DACA, and it's about 565,000 current people, it's too large of a group to immediately act because most of those people don't have orders. So they would have to be added to the immigration court backlog, which right now is at 3.6 million cases. So they would not be a priority to immediately remove.